Camo, first of all, can you tell me what's involved in rearing a greyhound? Uh, the key is uh, freedom. Freedom's the key to rear. Now, how old are these greyhounds when you get them? Uh, three months we try and get them in, and then they'll, we'll rear them until they're about 16 months old. They tend to break in about 17 months old. And what's involved in the, in the breaking in process? So if someone who, hasn't, who doesn't know what rearing is and breaking in, what's the difference between the two? Uh, breaking in is when they first see a track, so they'll, they'll actually see a lure and go around a circle and knowing to chase. Rear, rearing's just freedom running and learning to use their feet, use their legs. Now, you've been doing this for a little while now, you and your family. Can you tell me some champions that have been reared on this property? Uh, Aston Bolero is one of them. Nearly won 50, 50 races or did win 50 races. Uh, Mantra Lad of Oone won about 600000 in prize money probably five years ago. Um, that's off the top of my head. There's plenty, but... Now, for people who have seen the photos and the vision of all of these greyhounds here for the National Draft, is there any advice uh, that they should be looking for when picking the possible next champion? Uh, physique for starters, temperament, happiness, they've got to be happy. Um, and if they're reared right, they get every chance to hit, make the track and could be champions. Now, one thing I notice that's a little bit different to what I've come across is that you've got some greyhounds in these yards that are a little bit older than the pups you have running around with them, some old timers. Can you talk me through why you guys put the older dogs in with these pups? Oh, well, they've been through it all. They've been reared here. They've hit the track. A few of them have been good dogs, and we bring them home to retirement to show the pups around the property everywhere, everywhere to go, take them to the dam, teach them to swim, everything. So it's like having a, a golden mentor, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Now, what are some of the important factors when it comes to feeding a growing greyhound? Plenty of protein, fat, and fitness is the key. Fitness is the key, but you've got to keep them fat and healthy at the same time. Why is it so important for growing greyhounds at, of all ages, I suppose, to be uh, given a lot of galloping? You don't see an NRL player sitting on the couch prior to a game. They've got to keep fit, healthy, and on the right diets. And I suppose it's really important for their bone structure as well. They're learning how to run. They're also learning how to cop a few bumps as well. Yeah, that's the key is having, say, the litter together, keeping them together so they learn to bump, play, quick turns, and they, they grow into their bones with plenty of fitness. Now we know that feeding and galloping are huge pillars of importance when rearing a greyhound, but can you tell me what, how important and what is handling of a greyhound? Because I believe it's a little bit more than just giving them a bit of a cuddle. No, you've you got to give them plenty of cuddles. You've got to give them TLC, but um, plenty of handling on the lead. We always teach them to lead in and out of different paddocks, different yards, always hands-on is the key. Now, the National Greyhound Draft is obviously hugely exciting for greyhound racing Australian-wide, but why is it so exciting for you guys here? Well, the exciting bit is to rear these beautiful bred pups just for people and to see new people back into the sport. That's what we're after, is new people into the sport, and I can't wait to see the photos of the pups and then the photo of them winning at Sandown.